Hi guys, I wanted to go ahead and do a, some guide videos, and so this is a, the first in a series of guide videos for how to take care of your corn snake. I find that we need a series of videos to really make a good guide because a lot of guides that I see don't go into enough details. Like they'll tell you what temperature to keep a corn snake, but then forget to tell you about the humidity you need to keep a corn snake. Or you, or they explain to use a certain type of substrate, but you know, don't explain why you need that certain kind of substrate. So they end up using like aspen when you live in a freaking desert and you have a heat lamp on, on your on your enclosure to keep the temperature up in the winter. So what hap- That's a topic for another time. Anyway, so I wanted to do a, do a set of guides and let's go ahead and get to the first, first topic of this first, first video. And that is when not to handle your corn snake. So I got my setups right over here and in each one of these setups, those different situations of of snakes that I can and cannot handle. Actually, I can't really handle any of these today. Why? Because I tried making this video earlier and I didn't like it, so I had to come back in here and shoot it again. And this is the full time. So, I've, d I've done used up all my snakes to handle, and I don't want to handle, handle, don't want to double handle my snakes in the same day. So, this goes, goes into a full period of time where you not, don't want to handle your snakes when you've already handled them. If you already had, had your snake out that day, let it rest. Otherwise, it's not going to feel like it's going to start to feel like like it must take it upon itself to be left alone because they don't love being handled, but they do tolerate it, and sometimes they can appreciate it even. But they don't love being handled. They like the new experience, but that's, that's about it. They really tolerate it. And, and, mo and very tame snakes tolerate it very well, and corn snakes also are usually that type of snake. So I'm not going to get any of these snakes out for this video. I'm going to recycle some old... <laughs> I'm going to recycle footage from the first two attempts to, uh, to, re to record this video so you can see it. So you can see snakes. So this one already had out today, so not going to handle them again. This one already had out today, and she's also in shed right now. She hasn't started shedding, but she's already gone through blue. So between her already already being out and her, you know, getting ready to shed, I want to leave her alone because I don't want to overdo it. I only want to handle her right now to help loosen up her shed a little bit. Normally, this is I would have Alex Straza out for about 45 minutes because I want to give her plenty of socialization. But I would never pull her out twice in the same day because she is already on the 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 right to relax, and and stress is accumulative. This one down here, this one has a cry of straws or acride in it. Well, the same snake, two different names. It's complicated. But Akride was fed yesterday. So I'm not handling him, him today. I'm not going to handle him tomorrow. You don't want to handle your snakes for 48 hours after you feed them. And if it's a particularly big meal, you don't want to ha handle your snakes for three days after you feed them. So he's he can't be handled today. In this one, we have Cory Dormy. And Cory... And you probably have seen Cory Dormy in pictures yet. I haven't really done a video video on her. Yes, I have. Shoot, what am I, what am I saying? I have done videos with her. Wait, have I? Well, expect videos of her when, when the time comes. But she's great to handle. But she was fed day before yesterday. So this is this is the 24-hour to 48-hour period for Cory Dormy, Cory Dormy being handled. So I'm not going to bother with her. It wasn't a particularly big meal, but it was a meal, and she does need that time to digest the meal. So, once again, you don't want to, you, you want to let your snake rest and digest his meal after, after feeding. Pretty obvious. When it comes to before feeding your, feeding your snake, you also don't want to handle your snake. 
let the snake re relax and be comfortable. Otherwise, it may not want to go into food mode to eat. And you end up wasting a, wasting a, a mouse. Over here, we have whew, a Lomi. And she is a new snake that I have not featured on the channel yet. And I got her last Monday. And she's already been through quarantine. So she's good to go. I still have her away from the other snakes, just in case. But she's good to go, and I fed all yesterday. So I got on Monday, today is Thursday, I fed all Wednesday. Usually I would wait a day, day or so later, but I, already, I figured, you know, it's a good opportunity to feed the other snakes if this one didn't want to eat, eat the mouse. Luckily this one ate the mouse, and we're good. So I didn't have to worry about a mouse going, so I went ahead and fed this one. But this one, I'm not going to handle a new snake for until after the second feeding, second successful feeding with the snake. Don't do it. It's it's only going to cause more stress on the snake, and the snake may decide to regurgitate anyway, or decide not to eat if it's too stressful. This is a common mis common mistake with with new keepers. They get their snake in, they want to play with the snake, and they read in one guide that says it's okay. To, put, to handle your snake regularly, but they get excited and they forget that, that you shouldn't handle a corn snake until after it's really settled in. How long does it take to settle in? It really depends on the snake. If you're having a, if you have a wild caught individual, it may it may need a month. Like it, it may not take any food for the first month, and if and may even take even longer than that to really get comfortable with handling, just because it needs that. Needs to be able to trust the environment that the environment is safe. If the if a snake doesn't feel like the environment's safe, it's either not going to eat or worse, it's going to regurgitate. So definitely take it easy. <sighs> Mouthful. So I fed her yesterday, so I'm definitely not bothering her today. I did put in some heat sensors because I got to put the heat. So the heat sensors in, also they have the humidity in there, so I can visually check the uh, check sensors without having to like open the enclosure up. The good ambient temperatures, the heat mats underneath that bowl, the um, and that's just a bowl I use for the hide, and those are cooking in the middle um, because they didn't have everything set up yet, so I wanted to add a little bit extra clutter, as you see in these enclosures, where well, there's plenty of stuff to hide in. So, just one more thing. Why you just don't want to handle your, why you shouldn't handle your corn snake, is if it regurgitated. So something already is going wrong. The snake could be sick, or it could just be too much stress, which both are common with new keepers. They end up, they make a mistake and buy a sick snake, or they make a, or they make a mistake and stress the snake out uh, when when it's not ready. To really, when it needs to relax. So, if your snake regurgitated, regurgitates, don't feed it for two weeks. Don't handle it for, for even longer than that. Let the snake heal, because when you crawl around on your, on your belly and your throat, and you know you have, you're having that heartburn and whatnot, it doesn't feel good. And when someone decides they're going to handle you, manhandle you, it's going to be even more uncomfortable. So just don't bother don't bother a snake when it's after regurgitation. Just don't handle it. Alright. Well only other thing that I'd want to I want to bring up is not to handle your snake when just things are changing around around it. So you clean the enclosure, don't handle your snake. You you move your you move your enclosure from one room to another room. Let it have a couple of days in both situations. You you upgrade the enclosure to a to a bigger and better enclosure. Give it a few days. Don't don't feed it. You know let let it sink back in, and let it tr learn to trust the new environment again. It's pretty simple. Once you have this down, you'll ha you'll find your snake is a lot more happy, and it's far less likely to regurgitate. Alright, well, thanks for watching 
this video. I hope that this this part one and the part one of when not to handle your snake is really helpful to you. As you can see, I already have a few ideas of topics that need to be discussed when you you start looking at guides for corn snakes. So stay tuned. This is going to be part. This is part one, and stay tuned to, for part two when I discuss another topic of corn snake husbandry.